A CNC router is a cutting machine used to cut a variety of materials such as wood, glass, plastic, metals, decorations, and furniture. Accurate and beautiful engravings were made by hand in the past, which was quite a time-consuming task and often wouldn't come out as accurately as one would have liked. Thankfully, we now have CNC Reuters that can create accurate and outstanding engravings in a short period of time. You can save a massive amount of time and create quality products with a CNC router. And to help you out we've curated a list of top 5 best CNC Reuters. Our recommendation number 1 is Fox Alien CNC Router Machine. The Fox Alien CNC router is a device that has a 300 watt spindle and stepper motor that makes it all the more powerful and efficient, producing maximum moving speeds and featuring a spindle speed range with a max of 10,000. This CNC router comes with a newly designed box, control board, power supply, and emergency stop. With its unique and simple design allowing for easier operation, the controller comes with a 3.5-inch LCD touchscreen that can be synced with the CNC router. A great deal for both home and business, it is capable of engraving materials like wood, metal, and PCB. And with its main parts coming to you pre-assembled, it may take a max of 30 minutes for you to assemble it. Our recommendation number two is MYSWETY CNC Router Machine. The MYSWETY CNC Router is a two-in-one CNC router that has been designed for beginners. Coming to you with a spindle motor and a 5.5 watts module, it features an offline controller with 1G of capacity. Establishing an offline connection also allows the CNC router to be connected without needing a connection with the computer system featuring the latest control boards, a fixed heat sink, and an external fan to help keep the temperatures low. Its solid casing works to increase the control board's life. Also versatile, it's capable of cutting any type of plastic, wood or acrylic, PVC, and PCB. It's also easy to use and assemble. Our recommendation number 3 is Genmitsu CNC Router Kit. The Genmitsu CNC Router Kit is an upgraded version of the 3018 and does not require any component to be positioned. It requires no assembly at all, and it improves the overall working accuracy. And with the base height of the device being raised for enhanced stability, it has upgraded power adapters that provide around a 20,000 RPM spindle. Controlled by software, it is powered by high-performance software known as GRBL. Its software runs on Arduino, and it is commonly used for controlling the movement of the CNC router to achieve smoother cuts. Our recommendation number 4 is SaneSmart Gen Mitsu 3018 Prover. The SaneSmart Gen Mitsu 3018 Prover is a leading CNC router. Easy to use. This CNC router is based on open source software and comes with a very powerful yet quiet Toshiba TB6S109 driver. Adding life and performance to the CNC router, it comes with optocouplers that protect your mainboard from hard stops without any risk or damage to the CNC router. Eliminating noise for more concentrated work, it has an aluminum body that improves the stability of the CNC router and allows different kinds of materials to be engraved on the device. Also easy to use and control, it clearly displays the readouts and provides manual control for your CNC router. Our recommendation number 5 is Bob CNC CNC Router. Bob CNC CNC Router comes with a rigid Baltic birch frame that supports an SG20U rail system. Championed for being a power CNC router that can consume 600 watts. It is effortless to assemble and produces accurate engravings on materials such as wood and plastic. Coming to you with an Arduino-based microprocessor, establishing a USB connection is as simple as connecting it to a computer. With a Baltic birch wood frame composing its body, it is naturally the most sturdy and rigid CNC router. 
also easy to assemble, it can take new users a little more time to navigate its operation. Hey everybody, it's Keith again with Bob CNC. We wanted to give you a little more information about the Quantum since it is rolling out like right now. Yeah, you yeah. should probably tell people what is different or new about it. Well, yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so what's... I mean, one, well, one of the things I see right off the bat is you've got aluminum uh, T-slots. Yeah, so we made an extrusion, uh, our own custom extrusion to help right. us with uh, spoil board. So the Quantum will have the aluminum T-slots. 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 Okay. I'm okay. That's why, right. I, that's why I'm not marketing. Well, there's another thing, too. Underneath. Go, oh, go ahead. Underneath, there's a... Uh, torsion box. Torsion box. Can you we, want to tell me about that? Yeah, can we just show it? Oh, yeah. You want to tip it back? Just, yeah. Oh! Oh, Jesus. That's heavy. So oh. hopefully Kristen will be able to see this. But Can you uh, see that okay? under the four and the max, because of the larger side, we decided to go ahead and put a torsion box to help keep everything flat. All right. So that's one of uh, the other changes that we did. Uh, the other thing is, is we made the mount for the router uh, easy to remove the router, put it back in. Uh, there's a screw that's right here that loosens up. The router comes out, put it back in, tighten up the screw. So it's yep. all done from the front. All from the front. No reaching through the gantry again. Right. So, and I think one more thing, uh, the Acme block now is a screw on so that it's easier to What does to that align. mean? Well, before we had a press in and it was zip tied, this is really a off the shelf uh, Acme nut that actually has two screws. So it's easy to adjust. Uh, it's easy to align. It's mounted right in it. And it's mounted right there yeah. on the Z assembly. Okay, so. another thing too is uh, because of, and of course, this is in the history of the way the, why we designed the machine the yep. way we did. But uh, this machine is, in effect, in, in many of the components, 20% larger. Yeah, so we actually designed it for uh, the 5 millimeter wood, but we're actually going with the 6 millimeter 5 ply, just like we always have. Yep. So we just kind of changed the design, so uh, you get a little bit more rigidity out of it. Uh, so your cutting speeds may increase a little bit. Uh, uh, the other thing that we did is uh, make the belt retainers. Uh, oh, these are cool. Yeah, you can swing off of them, right? Yeah, so, so we I should have grabbed sure. one. Yeah, I apologize. The, you know, the only thing that is my concern, so if you're listening to this, you should know that I'm concerned about this, is now that you can get them super tight, you will. You don't want to do that. You just really just need to get them snug. Yeah, don't use a guitar tuner when yeah. you're tightening your yeah, belts. Yeah, we just, right? we all, the, the rule of thumb, which is in our troubleshooting guide, uh, is, is just a, a nice dull thunk. Well, I don't think I said it that way, but I'm we sorry, want them snug, but we don't want them flopping them around. But, you know, right. if I was marketing, I would have said thung. What was the word? Thunk. Thunk. Oh, thunk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thunk. So um, the other thing that's coming out with this that I'm kind of excited about, or I've worked really hard on, is a troubleshooting guide with videos and trying to walk you through step by step. 